Alright guys, check out my props. This one's brand new, hasn't been used yet. This one's been held and back. And this one sees light duties, okay? So anyways, welcome to the channel. This is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. Uh, today I'm just kind of swapping props around and uh, I was planning on going out on a trolling trip. It's something I've never done and kind of want to get into. But anyways, I was uh, addressing some of the problems with the boat and I'm kind of changing it for what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days, which is like I said, trolling. But I took a prop off and I had three of them right in front of me. And I remember back in the days when I was like, dang, which prop to go with? And what is a prop? What does it do? Stuff like that. And I couldn't find these videos out there, so I, just, I was on the struggle bus for a little bit. So I'm trying to make this video to help all the guys that are, have some questions as to what props to use and size of props and pitches. Okay, so here we go. At least with my experience, this is what you're going to be uh, talking about. When it comes to a prop, a lot, the first number that you want to uh, get to know is they'll have a number of times a pitch, right? The first number is going to be the diameter of the blades, okay? All these have the same diameter, but their pitches are different, okay? So all my little, you know, little props here are all eight and a half or well, eight point nine inch props in diameter. They are a right hand turn, okay? So that's also very important, right hand turn. So there are left hand turn props as well but there's a also then it goes x times and then there's a little number usually there's a little number to the right of it like this one this one says it's 8.9 times 9.5 p 9.5 pitch all right so which one do you pick and why hmm, that's a good question uh let me tell you right off the bat this one the reason why it's been held in back is this is the original one uh, then I bought this one, then I bought that one. Okay, so why did I buy two more and why did I just not replace this one? Well, it's because uh, this little boat, this is a little, my little John boat. You guys have seen, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it on the channel a couple times. We've dubbed it the Stella. Uh, it has gone to hell and back. This this little boat has gone to Texoma. I mean, it, it goes on the big lakes, small lakes, three footers, you know. Three foot swells does all the rivers, does all the dam fishing, and more, and more, and more. Okay, so it's had an awesome life, as you can see. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm re I'm redoing all the rivets too. So keep an eye out for that video. This boat leaks like a mofo right now. I mean, it leaks like a mofo. So we've gone and uh, used the tools and we fixed up all the rivets. So that's another video coming up. And regardless, anyhow, going back, uh, prop prop decisions and why. So this is the OEM. This is the original one that came with the, the motor. It is an 8.9 by 8.5. So it's an 8.5 pitch. 8.5, 6.5, 9.5. Alright, so. What? What's wrong with this one? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the OEM. It's the best all around uh, prop. Okay. Give you guys an idea of what's going on. Uh, some guys are interested in top speed and some guys are interested in minimum speeds or trolling speeds, right? On this prop, as soon as I engage the motor, I get about a mile per hour. On this prop, I get about 1.5 to 2, depending on the day. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm assuming it's under a mile per hour. On the top end of everything, right? This is my, my little John boat. If I'm the only person in it, this one gives me about 17 miles per hour. This one gives me about 20 to 21. I've seen 22 before, but that was like a special day. I haven't ran this one, but I don't expect this one to go over 15 miles per hour. So, okay, that's what a light boat, okay? Light boat, those are the specs that I can see going on. Once again, I'm running a little 14 foot John boat. It's a 1436 Alumacraft. Small boat, okay? It weighs about 120 pounds. I got a, I got a group 30, no, group 29 battery in there. It's all ran electrically wise and I'm powered with a uh, a nine Mercury four stroke 9.9. .9. Okay, so power is on the low end. Okay, but all these principles apply to all boats. Okay, so once you get the basics of it, you can use it to your benefit. All right, so that's top end. 
Okay, so why why don't I always want a prop that just tops out super high? Well, it's because it depends on what you want to do, obviously. But for me, uh, sometimes I get a lot of people that want to go fishing with me, and sometimes we carry a lot of crap with us. When you carry a lot of weight, you want a lower prop. If you feel like your engine's not strong enough to overcome that weight, you want a lower prop. Lower props also get you out of the hole shot. People call it a hole shot. They, they get you up and going faster. You'll you'll climb in speed a lot faster. So on this one, it'll go from zero to fifteen a lot faster than this one will ever go from zero to fifteen miles per hour. But keep in mind, this one can hit twenty two. Just it just takes its time and it gets there. Okay, so in terms of the world, of, the world of efficiency and things like that, if you want to travel long range, that's probably the prop for you. But if you're a river guy and all you do is putt around and say so you're doing trot lines and stuff like that, you want you really actually prefer this one, especially after a long haul. You got a lot of weight in your boat and you got a, a lot of food, a lot of fish in your boat. You want a lower prop. You want just you just do want a lower prop. And why am I not throwing this way? Uh, I haven't thrown this way because it's just utterly destroyed. As you can see, it is in bad shape. Let me get it. Bad shape means you can reuse it. You don't care about it. And that's what happened. This one, I just pulled off the boat. Uh, we just came back from the creek from the Memorial Day uh, celebrations. And uh, we were running into rocks and tr trees and all this other stuff. Like this. It's okay. You're not spinning this thing at full speed, so you'll be fine. You know, it's okay to have one that's all beat up like that. You don't want to nick up a nice one, okay, like these two. And for the most part, this one... And I'm sure this one's going to be also. This one will see some river duties after I retire. This one for sure. And this one's only a lake prop. This is all top end stuff. So if I want to cover water, you know, traveling light, you know, uh, that type of stuff, that's the one. And as you can see, these props are actually what they mean by a pitch. Is if you put this sideways, and you put this sideways. Okay, well, maybe we can demo it like this. You can see a little bit better. See how the pitches are a little different? I don't know if you can see for sure, for sure, but the angle, maybe that's what it means, is the pitch. Just the angle is a lot slower or less aggressive than the angle on this one. The angle on this one's fairly aggressive. And if you look at it from the top, you can see the blade designs are slightly elongated on this one compared to these two. And you can really see a difference when you put the low and the high together. See it? See what I'm talking about? High pitch, low pitch. So the ear is a lot wider than this one. This one's a long ear, long sharp ear. This is a long wide ear. You know, it's from the uh, same manufacturer. This is, these are the OEM uh, quick silver props. And uh, yeah, that way it's an even comparison. I know there's a lot of prop manufacturers out there, and there's a lot of them that uh, make them in stainless. But for this purpose, we're going to stick with aluminum, okay? And uh, that's about it. I mean, if you want go, you want to go fast, top in, there you go. This is the all arounder. If you want to carry heavy loads and do more trolling type stuff, or if you gotta push something that's a little heavier than what you're used to, you use these lower prop, smaller, slower prop. And that's key, okay guys? So I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any questions on these props, and I'll do my best to answer you. I'm not the uh, know-it-all, but I feel like after about five years of boating, uh, I feel like I know enough to answer most of the uh, the beginner's questions, okay? So, once again, Connery from Out of Work. Uh, be sure to sub the channel so you don't miss anything that goes on with this boat as we do plan to do a lot of fishing with it and, and maybe even retire because it's had a harsh life. All right, guys, see y'all on the next one.